With a sign warning people to give him his space, a leopard seal takes a well-earned snooze at Awamaru's Normanby Wharf. Leopardseals.org research assistant Gaverny Forbes says it's not the first time the visitor has turned up. I saw him a week ago on Monday and um, he was here doing same the same spot. thing, same spot, just sleeping. So he seems to have found a good place to haul out. She says this young leopard seal probably feeds on fish and small birds, but she's hoping to get more data on the seal's diet. I was excited to come back because um, hopefully he'll do another scat sample for us and I'll be able to collect that and get a better idea of what he, he's been eating between then and now. While leopard seals are rare visitors to our shores, this one is not the only one along the southeast coast. Between Kaka Point and just north of Canterbury, we've got at least five different individuals. Wow. And that's just within the last week. And there are individuals in the North Island. And also we've got to keep in mind, those are the ones we know of. Those are the ones that we have photos of. Leopardseals.org is interested in any sightings to improve their understanding of numbers and movements of the animals. I ask anyone who sees a leopard seal to call 0800 Leopard. Even if they're healthy and happy and fine and everyone's leaving them alone, we want to know so that we can collect data. The leopard seal could well stay at the boat ramp for a number of days and Doc advises people to stay 20 metres away and keep dogs leashed. In Oamaru, for the South Today.